What's going on, guys? It is a misty, nasty day after Hurricane Ian, I think is what they call him. Uh, just come through and literally tore the world in half. On today's agenda, we're gonna get the traps ready for trapping season because it's literally right around the corner. Now, I'm not gonna get all my traps done today just because I don't have enough time or a big enough pot to do them all at one time. So, if we get a little bit done here and there, maybe get a couple dozen done for uh, trapping season. That way we don't have so many to do when trapping season gets here. So, let's get to it. First off, we're gonna need our pot. Now, I've got a, oh, I'm glad there wasn't a bee's nest in that sucker. Um, I'm gonna get a video together of making these boxes, so y'all stay tuned. And then traps, y'all are next. This thing ain't got nothing else really to carry with. I'm just gonna do it like this. Like I said, these pots are not big enough for this. I need bigger pots, but those dang pots are freaking expensive if you haven't looked. I checked out some the other day, 280 some dollars for a big old pot. It's crazy how much how expensive they are. But we got a few more traps to pick up, and once we get these suckers loaded in here, we'll get on to the next step. Now that we got our pots at the house next to our burner, it is time to fill these suckers up with some water. For this step, it doesn't matter if it's clean pots, dirty pots, it really doesn't matter. All we're trying to do is get all the old wax and stuff from last year's trapping season off the traps so we can re them and re-wax them so that they're scent free once again. Now that we got a pot full of water, we're gonna simply take our traps anchors and all and sit them down in there like i said these pots don't hold very many i'll be lucky to get four of these suckers in there at one time gotta get a little more water in there i think i can get one more trap in oh yeah we can make that work and to the next pot Because that one doesn't have a shock spring on it just yet. Oh, that trap held five. A little bit more water, and then we'll get to the boiling part. All right, now we got our pots here with the water and the traps inside. And what we're gonna do here is very, very simple. We're gonna turn them all the way up on high and on high and give her a good light without burning my arm off. And now we just wait. Just sit here and wait for the bolt traps to start boiling, the water start boiling actually. And what we're trying to do is you're gonna get the water hot and the traps hot and all the wax will come up to the top and when it comes to the top we will put some more water in there and it'll overflow the wax over the edges and yeah you can do it that way or you can just let the whole thing cool off and the wax will harden at the top and then it won't stick to your traps again um so yeah we're just trying to get all the old wax and everything just the wax part really off of the traps from last year that way when we re-wax them they're 100 percent scent free now it's a waiting game all right as we can see we got a bunch of nasty old goo coming up to the top these haven't quite got hot enough as you can see they're still boiling or still got bubbles on the traps i should say so now this one's simmer this one's got still got a few bubbles in there on the traps uh, you maybe can see through the traps in the water but slowly but sure they're getting there all right they've been boiling here for mm, probably an hour maybe maybe that long but you see where it's been bubbling some and all the wax is starting to build up so all the wax has melted and come up to the top of the water and uh now what we gotta do is just turn off the fuel and wait for it to cool down and all that'll harden on top i don't want to pour water into it because if you, i feel like if you do that the water going in is going to cause the wax to go down and stick to the trap as it's coming back up if that makes sense so i'm just gonna let the pot sit here and cool off and uh through once they get through cooling off, I'm gonna uh, come out here and dump out all the water and everything, get the traps, sit the traps down and spray them off. So y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, this is the next day and you can see all this stuff that has dried on this pot. Um, that is all wax that's come to the surface of the water, just floated up. <clears throat> so we're gonna take that, dump it out on the ground and then put them 
this uh, traps on the steps with these and spray them off and get them cleaned up pretty good. So let's get it. <laughs> Alrighty, we've got, let's see how many this is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten traps total right here. And this is a big old pile of some extra earth anchors I carry around with me. And we've got another pot right here that is just now finishing up. Wait for this last little pot right here. Well, I'm not going to sit here and wait for it, actually. I'm just going to let it sit right there and cool off tonight. And then tomorrow I'll come out here and uh, dump out the old wax and water and do the same process, cleaning them off the water hose. Now, I'm just spraying these off of the water hose right now, but it's really just knocking off some of the old, it's really just helping knock off the wax and stuff. But you can see there's just a little bit of grit right there, and all that is is some rust parts, uh, pieces of rust that's just, it can easily be blown off. Like you see, some of my um, uh, polyfill has been stuck sticking to the, um, the rust that's there. So that's just rust pockets and just more rust. When the traps get older, they're going to rust a little bit more. Um, they're gonna rust some a little bit, a little bit. Anyway, uh, what I'm getting at, you want your traps to look like this right here. So this is a trap that I got last year and you can see how there's still some bare metal there, just a little bit of rust, but you see how slick this back of this trap paint is versus the slickness of that one there. And you see how this stuff's kind of coming off. I can really scrape it and it comes off on my fingernail right there. All that is, like I said, is just some rust. So the, what you wanna do, like I said, I'll rinse them off with the water hose, but before you whack or uh, dye and wax them again, you're gonna to wanna to take a pressure washer and pressure wash the traps. Now, if you don't have a pressure washer, you can do it like I do, which I have a pressure washer now, but before I had one, I just go to freaking car wash, pay whatever, dollar twenty-five, and pressure wash all my traps off there at the car wash, and then whatever, you got, what, max five, six bucks into it, and uh, that'll really get them a whole lot cleaner than what a well, typical you know water hose from your house was going to do it'll be a whole lot more pressure and uh, help clean them off a little bit more before you do the dyeing and waxing process but i'm not going to do the dyeing and waxing process today because um yeah i just don't have the time to really i could get some other things done but i did get let's see that's 10 right there and i probably got two more pots so it's probably no probably 24 traps done today so i mean not too bad two dozen are done clean or all I gotta do is pressure wash them and that's it. I got all the old wax off of them and on for another day. So stick around for the next video to come up. I'll show you how to do the dyeing and waxing process. It's really simple, really easy. And uh, yeah, good luck trapping this year, guys. It's really, it's getting close. But until next time, I hope you enjoy this video. If you do a different process that seems to work better than what I'm doing, by all means, leave me a comment down below. But until next time, y'all take it easy and we will see you on the next one.